Hi there, it's Faye here from Cambo. So we are going to do a little bit of cutting from the garden to make a little bowl of flowers for the house. Um, we're at the garden today, it's a bit cooler today, which is quite nice. Um, I try when I'm cutting flowers to not cut into a basket, but cut into a nice big bucket of water, which is what we've got here. Because I think the minute the flowers are cut, they appreciate a drink, like we all do. Um, uh, try and not cut too late in the afternoon or you know at full, in full sun and things like that as well. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but if you're going to cut flowers, first thing in the morning, early evening is quite good when it's nice and cool. Today we've got a lovely heart over the garden, so we're going to be fine. So what I'm going to do is go around the garden, cut a few things, and then we'll try and put them into a bowl and give, give ourselves a bit of a seasonal display. I think that um, any garden, you'll be able to find something that you can put into a bowl and just cheer up the inside as well as the outside. In here we've got some um, lovely wallflowers which will give us some nice scent and things, so I'm going to cut them there. I've got my handy snips with me, and I'm just going to cut things down into the stem. quite far down and when I'm cutting in the garden what I tend to do is I cut quite into the into the plant and then you don't even see that we've been. Here we are in the cutting garden at Cambo. Now we're really lucky that we have a new cutting garden within the bigger wall garden as well. So this is going to get planted up soon in our annual beds with lots of annual colour as well. But for now in our perennial beds there's still lots of lovely things that we can cut into a bucket and for a posy today as well. In here what I'm going to do is cut some bits out of um, the nepeta here. I quite like, I like the texture of it but I like the kind of grey purpley foil that it gives me as well. And again I'm using my snips. I'm going in into the plant, taking a few stems here and there so that really nobody can see that I've been. We're lucky we're allowed to cut from anywhere in the garden here. But again sometimes things go over edges and actually rather than fall over or stand on them, why don't we cut them and put them in a bowl. Okay. Sometimes we help the gardeners out just in case, you know, things will go over the path, they won't miss them. Hi there, We're, we've got our flowers in our bucket here now and um, we've gone away and had a cup of tea, let them have a little bit of a drink, fresh cut flowers from the garden, I'm really thirsty. So I've left these for about half an hour, but ideally, you know, an hour or so, maybe a bit longer, it's always really good from flowers for the garden and it just lets them get a little breather and let drink them all the stuff up before we start using them. What we've got here is we've got this beautiful little pot or this vessel that we've got to put our flowers in as well. We can use vases, you can use cups, you can use anything basically that can hold water. But um, I quite like the kind of shape of this pot and stuff and we've got quite a lot of kind of whites and pinks in our flowers as well so we thought we'd go with that. Nice trick that one of our lovely florist um, people showed us, thank you Sarah, was that in order to, um, when you put things in in a, in a jug or in a vase or things, sometimes things have a tendency to kind of flop out and they don't quite stay where we want them to do. So handy tip from, from the, the florist that we've met is that if you can get some chicken wire or something like this, scrubble it up into a little ball and we pop it inside, inside our little container, just underneath the eye line. What that'll do is when we fill that up with water, it'll hold the flowers in place as well. And it'll be much easier for arranging, just when we're turning them and stuff. It also gives it quite a nice kind of airy feel as well. Okay. Hi there, so we've got our water all sorted as well. And um, we've got that in with our um, chicken wire that we've done earlier. Um, and what we're gonna do now is, is start to prepare some of the stems that have had a nice big drink for going in the bowl. So some of the softer stuff, like this um, napita, it's very easy just to strip the stems back. Just get rid of that lower leaves because if the lower leaves sit in the water, sometimes they tend to rot and stuff as well. It's quite easy to just do it. It's like a downward stroke, you know, with your, with your hands. Some things are a bit tougher than that and you need to use secateurs and stuff. But if you're careful, if you're messy like me, bucket underneath, always a good tip. And then what we've got is a nice clear stem to go in the water. With these nice wallflowers, 
They're pretty at the top, but some of the lower flowers are a bit spent, so I'm just gonna nip those off. It's still a pretty flower. We're gonna see lots of it, it'll give us some nice scent, but equally, same thing. I'm just gonna get rid of some of that stuff underneath as well, so that when it's in the bowl, it'll be quite happy. Another wallflower that's just come in. I wanna keep some of the leaves on that one, but same thing. I just wanna go down, strip stem, ideally wear gloves. As you can see, mine's got too muddy to be able to do this today. It's been one of those wet days. But just in terms of being able to have a nice clean stem in the water, it's always helpful for kind of prolonging the flowers, but it's a lot easier to work with as well if you've not got the leaves in there as well. Okay, so I've started with a little bit of um, ghost, ghost bramble that was hanging over the path outside the potting shed. It's really pretty, it's got a really bonny leaf and I quite like the contrast of it. But sometimes when you get stems that have spikes, that's a little difficult, you can give them a little snip as well. Roses and things like that, it's a good way to be able to make sure that you don't lacerate yourself when you put things in a bowl. But also sometimes the ends of things are maybe a bit dead or whatever, so just really carefully snip it off and then you've got a nice lovely stem as well. Putting these into the water, as far into the water as I can get them as well. And I'm starting with some greenery and stuff from the garden as well to kind of give us a bit of structure and stuff in, the, in, in, in our vessel. Things will just do naturally what they want to do. I quite like, I quite like um, the habit of some plants is quite, you know, it's quite loose and quite lax and it likes to kind of hang over things and, and stuff as well. And I think rather than um, like fight with that, I think we should embrace it, which is quite nice. I've got some other bits of cistus from somewhere else in the garden hanging over the path. It was only going to get squashed. Nobody's going to miss it. And I think um, in terms of just building something up nice in the middle so that when we get our stems, Again, I'm just going to trim those down. It's got a bit of a flop going on it. I quite like that, but I'm going to take off a few of the kind of yellower leaves. And again, these aren't perfect, these stems either, but I think it's quite nice. You get a bit of texture and a bit of colour. And they'll, you know, we, can, we could have them all standing up like soldiers, but, you know, they just want to do their own thing, and I think that's fine. I've got a little bit of lilac as well. Again, it's hanging over the path. What was going to happen? Um, I'm going to try him in there as well. I think he's probably a bit tall. So again, I'm just doing a little slanted cut on my stems. We use these snips. Other snips are available, but I find them to be really, really handy. They're really sharp, um, quite lightweight as well, and they're good for, good for pockets and little hands. And again, all of a sudden, you just start to build some nice green in the middle of all of that, and then we can pop our flowers through. I quite like using kind of different this is something I would never have thought about until um, Sarah struck me taking me around the garden and had a look at how we could fill things. Is sometimes things that are tangled into a hedge didn't want to be there, but also you know in terms of how you would put that in a in a traditional display, it might be a bit difficult. But if you're working with how things are, you know, naturally want to fall, I think it can be quite nice. You know, using things that maybe. You wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily think of to fill in your fill in your pot but it's kind of it's a little it's a little um kind of garden in a little bowl which i think is quite pretty as well so if you look at your garden borders and things you know you've got lots of plants there that would go together naturally anyway so it's kind of thinking about kind of a few snips here and there you'll never miss them from the garden and then you can have a beautiful little garden in a bowl in your house I know, the sun's come out in the glass house now. This is clearly not the place to be arranging flowers, but you know, we're grateful for it as well. Um, I'm just putting a few last um, flowers in. The bowl's quite full, I'm quite happy about that. And what we've got here is some um, spring snowflake. So different lacojum to what we're used to seeing in the garden, but I really quite like the way that the heads flop around as well. I'm just gonna cut them and pop a few in. Again, you know, I think, I think what's nice about doing these kind of things is it's just a really, oh, it's just a little flop. It's a, a nice way of kind of having a look at what's in the garden and bringing a bit of that indoors as well. But I, I must admit, I've started doing this at home now and um, it's amazing month by month what changes you'll see in the garden, even in one border as well. And it's a really nice way to kind of look at what's growing as well and just bring a bit of that home. I'm just going to put some tulips on here as well. So the one good thing about quite a cold start to the year is our tulips are just lasting and lasting and lasting. These are a wee few from the from the apple walk. The apple blossom isn't quite out yet, but the tulips are still looking amazing. That's a beautiful little black one. It's quite frilly. It's obviously some kind of apparent one. It's quite nice. Now I quite like him, so I'm going to pop him 
somewhere in the middle here. And again, he's just gonna, I'm not gonna try and make him rigid or do anything crazy with him. I'm just gonna let him be where he wants to be because you know, he's just beautiful in, in that already. Again, different tulips. I'm just cutting the end again, slight little cut and um, just popping them in now. The thing about tulips that I didn't know until um, I was taking around the garden with one of our florists was that they keep growing when they're in your vase as well. So if you come in and you think, are they longer? The answer is yes. They kind of, they still grow when they've been cut and come in the bowl as well. So they'll grow longer and they'll open out for you as well. So they're really kind of quite an interesting thing to watch in a bowl as well. So I'm just gonna, beautiful, put this one in. And again, you know, I kind of know where I want it to go, but you know, at the end of the day, could be sit just, just where he's happy. Okay, so we've got a bit of a mixture there of things that are in the garden. I was going to put some lilac Spanish bluebells in, but I don't think I will. I think I quite like that at the moment. And um, I'm just going to enjoy that on one of our tables. Hi there, so here we are. We have our um, flowers from the garden. It could be a vase, it could be a cup, it could be a bowl like this, very pretty. It's a nice thing to be able to give it to a friend or to arrange yourself and, and have in the house as well. It's, it really is like having a bit of a bit of your garden in a bowl. Um, we're starting cutting from the garden soon as well, so there'll be fresh flowers in the shop up at the stables, but also we'll be starting Flower Club again soon as well, where we um, have a subscription service. So if you fancy joining that, give us a shout if you're local enough to be able to do it, but have a go. I mean, what's not to love about seeing bits in the garden that would end up on the path? We've not destroyed anything and um, just to be able to enjoy a bit of that inside, especially with this weather. One minute is sunshine, the next minute is pouring with rain. Enjoy.